What's your plan? Uh, hopefully, you guys named this episode Everything Happens for a Reason because... Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think, on my side, it's not bravery. I don't think I'm the bravest man mm. in Clubbing. I think it's not bravery on my side. I think it's fear, actually. Mm. It's fear of ending up like the brothers that I see in, the, in my hood. Mm. The most power you have is that, that uh, voting the day. The vote. The voting day. The That's vote. If... If oh sorry to go to, into this, but we started with enemy. Yeah. Ugoku couldn't have defeated Margin Bull yeah. himself. Yeah. He needed the people's energy. True, true. For that for spirit, that spirit bomb, bomb, you know. Literally, I think that is where the wasabi that thing started. Big, yeah. yeah, that's where the story literally. Ten, twelve years ago, there's no such thing as an influencer at all. There's, there's no, no such thing as making money online, online in South Africa yeah, and stuff. So, so there was no. I was. I always tell people the difference between making content back then and making content right now. I think a lot of people's focus right now is somebody said we're gonna pay you for a, a skit. Yo, I think yeah. I think they they were like we'll pay you like three point something, and I was shocked really for one video. He's You've like, yeah. never made money from no. the skit. No, I was just till that till that point. Yeah, okay. and the craziest thing. Like the line that happens there, yeah. you will never believe. Because when once I do that skit, they tell me that skit is nominated for a Lurie. and I'm like, "Here's my TV break. I'm gonna be, a, you know, I'm gonna be Capella now. Yeah. I'm in there. Yeah. I'm gonna Capella. Be I'm here Sam's now. Sam's or Jason. Yeah. I'm there, dog. Yeah. I'm yeah. Jack oh, Mabasso. Jack Mabasso. Yeah, By the end of the career, I'm gonna have the club, dog. <laughs> Jack Mabasso. Uh, and you're live on Dead Radio. Welcome to another episode of Dead Radio with your boy Ini. And you know, another special guest is in the building. Mm. I'm going to let him introduce himself and then we're going to get into his life story. And you know how we do. Extract all the jewels we possibly can for you guys to go out there and use them. So, yeah. What about Fitzy Kamalam? Okay, what's up? I'm from Fossil House, 1475. The Hooded Skinny Brothers died with the clouds are too close to the ground, so we altered the sky. And uh, I'm an entertainer. Yeah, I'm an entertainer. I love that. <laughs> Yo, shout out. That's probably been the best guest intro of Dead Radio. How are you feeling today? Bro? I'm good, brother. I can't complain in you. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good, no. man. I'm loving the weather. Yes, um, yes. Yeah, shout out for joining us. Ah, no stress, brother. Pleasure, yeah. pleasure, yeah. pleasure. Um, let's start your story from the beginning. Ooh, right. Yes. Where are you from? I'm I'm from Forslo. Forslo is okay. East Rand. Okay. It's about what forty five minutes away from here without traffic. Dope. An hour with traffic. So okay. yeah, I'm okay. from very far. Yeah. But yeah, I'm Kulele Forslo. I've been there most of my life. Okay. Uh, and yeah, that's where most it of Okay started. Wasabi started. Yeah. I feel you. Yeah. Tell us about the young George. Sure. What type of kid was he? Oh man. Um. I was uh, indoors mostly, okay. binging. I think I'm so grateful that my parents were, were forward for some reason. So watching DSTV really early. I guess. So you. we had 16 channels, more than four. I was yeah. like, oh my <laughs> goodness. Oh my God. I remember when they brought it, it was like 2000 and 2001. So yeah. it was really early. Only two houses in the hood that had yeah, a dish. Yeah, DSTV. so we weren't even rich like that. My parents I were just forward, you. dog. So Cartoon Network was like channel number 16, I think. Yes. And I'd be indoors yes. the whole day, just binging. Your Powerpuff Girls, Dexter's Lab, and okay. stuff like that, and then it was even more uh, indoor living when I got the PS2. So I'm also a gamer. Okay. Uh, did a, gamer. Yeah, did a lot of gaming. But, uh, dope, dope. Even before even the PS2, now my cartridge. Yeah, the, yeah. The telegame station. Yeah, telegame station. Ah, yes, oh, yes, bro, yes, you don't even know. Yes. Uh, uh, the only time I remember going out, I would go outside and play soccer and yeah. uh, travel to the Spaza to Faga if I bought Mshinini. Okay. And game Street Fighter, King of Fighters, there stuff like that. But yeah, I was pretty much to myself and uh, indoors. But I could yeah, socialize when it, when it boys. when it needs to be. When it needs to be uh, so socializing what it time. Sounds like was the seeds that became trees today mm. were planted by you being indoors. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. I think. So that DSTV yeah. exposed you. Oh, uh, dog! It was uh, yo no no pun intended. Definitely open time. It was definitely open time. I think uh, I absorbed so much of yeah. my uh, personality, so From much TV. of my, so much of the writing. The, the, the cartoons back then, that were they were amazing. Oh like, man! Now, now that you're mentioning even Dexter's Lab, the, oh, like, yeah. dog. That era. That era of Cartoon Network, dog, was 
Oh, insane, dog. So, I yeah, that. I absorbed so much from back then, staying indoors and, yeah, man. Okay. I think okay. the testament on how indoors I was, mm. on how to myself I was, and as much as I did have friends, friends yeah. I liked just doing my own thing. I think the testament to that is what shocks people the most when I'm at work events or when I'm socializing. Mm. I don't drink, I don't smoke, I never have. Mm in my life i've never felt the peer pressure because i don't think I, I put myself in those positions where you are with friends and you guys and all drinking. try it okay, yeah so while it. my friends were doing that uh i was uh home catching watching johnny bravo season three okay. episode 16. Okay. So. i feel you i feel you shout out so, to johnny bravo yo 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 that was the original riz uh, guy. exactly exactly no okay yeah yeah so yeah. you move obviously into high school sure how does your personality change? Are you still the same? Are you still secluded? Are you still an indoors type of guy? Yeah, how does your personality change? So most of it is still the same guy, still to myself, but uh, I think I was more willing to experiment with uh, just entertaining people. Okay. Yeah, I think I was more willing to jump out of my shell because I was very shy, still am very shy. People slang out crazy. People slang out with me in the crazy. in the mall and say, oh, this guy was is so quiet. He's yeah. not the guy that's on YouTube. Online, yeah, online, yeah. yeah. But yeah, very shy guy. I grew up very shy, still shy now. But yeah, in high school made a couple of friends, but I was more open to speaking. I remember yeah. for some reason, people still remind me this, this uh, I went to Bracken High, some school okay. in Bracken Downs. Okay. People still remind me that for some reason they would allow me to go upstairs to do some announcement for, for some announcements for assembly and they did crazy they'd, as they'd, a shy kid yeah even i don't happen? even know i don't now look, yeah. looking back at it it's yeah. crazy yeah. but they'd allow me to go one, uh, maybe twice a week up up there with the whole school there and they'd be like speak and do announcements in your way like do it because yeah, you you want to be funny so and i don't know why they did that i, yeah. I don't remember but were you a funny guy yeah 100 percent, 100 percent. uh made the jokes humor's always been yeah there. humor's always been there always yeah. been there so they'd be like do you want it was like it was like like them giving me a a spot on the stage to do stand up ah. they were like do you, do you want uh, 30 seconds do you want a minute I to go speak up there and looking back at it now it was very weird because i don't remember any other kids doing that doing but that, I feel you. but yeah i yeah it was more open to entertaining people so that's where that seed got planted pretty much now. yeah okay. yeah 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 so now end of high school sure. right mm. it's tough for any kid now because yes. now you have to start figuring out oh, okay dog actually what am i gonna do with my life 100 percent. Yes. what was your perspective what were you thinking were you thinking i'm gonna go the traditional way or mm -hmm. was the entertainment thing just those standing up in front of the rest of the school yes. was that like okay maybe this thing can be mm -mm -mm. something for me to do as a career i remember i was very much a, a kid who was do, trying his best in primary and early high school to do his best in okay. school okay. so we really trying my best and i think it was a uh, a father thing. My, my my father was an amazing guy. Okay. Um, lo I lost him in matric. I remember early matric or mid matric. Sorry. No, not just yeah. not just March, March. Yeah, March twenty twelve. Yeah. Yeah, I was in matric that year, and um, I don't know, man. Because he was in there, I just maybe lost interest in the school thing, mm. the scala thing. Because he was so yeah, scala. Yo, he was so. If you can get a piece of paper with your name on it. You can go anywhere in life and that's yeah. so true definitely yeah. education is so important yeah. uh but i remember matric i'm done uh i tell my mom i'm taking a gap year <laughs> how mom. does the black mother <laughs> deal hey, with her son th saying that the only thing that made her agree with that is because uh she didn't really have the funds okay so she couldn't say much okay she couldn't say much of it i'm like you know what let Can me take, take a, a gap, gap year yeah. And she couldn't fight me because she didn't have much of the funds mm -hmm. back then. And then um, I remember that year I was, uh, besides binging anime yeah. that year, I remember was, I watched so much okay. Bleach. I watched so much uh, Dragon Ball Z stuff. Okay. Yeah, so much. Yeah. But I think that year. Bleach is a 
fire anime. Oh. Yo, anyone out there who <laughs> hasn't watched Bleach. Naruto, I was there, John. I was absorbing all of those things. Death Note. Uh, what? Death Note. Not yet, not yet. But it was Yo, there in my computer. Trust but me. I was like, I'm going to watch it. Trust I'm going to watch it. Me. I see Netflix did a, a remake yeah, of it now. Oh, yeah, yeah, but I, I, one day I need to watch it. Anime Death one. It's yeah. fire. Trust me. Trust me. <laughs> yeah, but then uh, this is 2013, right? Okay. Uh, just finished high school in 2012. I'm chilling at home. Uh, this is the year where Vine is popping off. Okay. Vine is popping okay. off. People are making skits, uh, six second skits. They're killing it. Uh, I remember. I had like some uh, Samsung tablet ah, that I ah, begged my mom to sure. buy for me. Yeah. Okay. I was like, please buy me this tablet. I want to shoot content. Yeah. Uh, it's a very affordable, cheap Samsung tablet. She buys it and um, Vi uh, Vine is not supported on the tablet. <sighs> ah, damn it. Devastating. Hey, dog. It's fine. It's cool. Yeah. I'll do skits on Instagram because in like, a couple of months later, Instagram announces video. A lot of young people uh, might, might be watching this and be like, announce this video. Back then, yeah, it was back just then, pictures it was only. Just yeah, pictures, like, bro. yo, we grew yeah. up on this stuff. Yeah. Instagram yeah. announces a yeah. video. They were like, you can upload 15 second videos. Okay. Great. So that's where the skits, me and my best friend, Dali Danger, started recording skits on Instagram, okay. uploading them, shooting as much as we can. And literally, I think that is where. The wasabi that thing started. Began. Yeah, that's where the story literally starts. So even the name OK Wasabi, Sharp. is that from you make you guys making those skits? Yes, okay. yes, yes. How did so, that name come about? I started doing skits uh, by doing a lot of parody music. Okay. So there was uh, Java's Hambange Vura. Yeah, 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 yeah. We made a song called Hambane Dula. Oh. Yeah, we would remix songs oh. and we'd call it misheard lyrics like, hey, I misheard th this I lyric and this is what I actually heard. Okay. And we'd make full songs, remix them out, yeah. Okay. So back then, my favorite rapper, pretty much of many black boys, was Lil Wayne. Shout out to Weezy. Ah, Shout Lil Wayne, the mixtape, Weezy, Weezy. Yeah. 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 So back in 2013, Wayne gets on Hustle Hard with Ace Hood. Yes. The, rem yes. the remix. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So one of the lines there is, we be going gnarly. Whoa, Kimosabi, okay. Big Balling is my hobby. Yeah. yeah. I misheard that lyric. I thought he said, oh, okay, Wasabi. Oh. Big Balling is my hobby. So my name is a misheard lyric, which will always remind you of where I started. I feel you from so, those early days. From skits. those days, yeah. So my name is actually a misheard lyric. It's okay, Wasabi. Only a year or two later, I find out. Uh, that's not what he's saying. No, he's actually saying, whoa, Kimosabi. So I that's where OK Wasabi that. comes from, basically. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. now in that gap year, you guys are making all this content. Yes. I know that you did eventually end up going to school. Yes, yes, yes. What happens from that transition? Oh, I think 2014, uh, Maori is like, right, let's try something. Mm -hmm. You need to go to, to school. And mm -hmm. Pella, think about it. This is, uh, what, 10, 12 years ago. There's no such thing as an influencer. At all. There's, There's no, no such thing as making money online, online in South Africa. Yeah, and stuff. True. So there was no... I was. I always tell people the difference between making content back then and making content right now. I think a lot of people's focus right now is... The bag. To, yeah, the bag. Yeah. To make videos and get a brand to jump on your videos yes. and give you money. Yes. Back then, I was making videos just to get discovered. I get uh, Whoever... You was going to be from SAPC, maybe they cast me in generation, I'll become Capella's son, whatever, whatever, hey, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> whatever it is, I was just making videos to be discovered by television, by traditional media, I get you, whereas now kids don't even need television, really. they just make videos and they pop online and yeah. make enough money, yeah. so I was making videos just to be discovered, so, but then back then there's no such thing as that. So my old lady says, you know, you know, you know what? You need to go to to Scala yeah. uh, and just try something. Yeah. Um, I remember this is she even makes this decision decision in late January. So applications are closed by then. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's I was supposed close. to apply last year last and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. So we go to UJ, ask them, is there anything open, anything yeah. available? Yeah. They're like, there's this accounting course that you can do. <laughs> At the time, I haven't done accounting since it was EMS in grade yeah. nine. So. <laughs> I, oh, I didn't do grade so 10, 11, 12. Like, Dog. So and that's the only thing. That's the only that's thing open. open. Yeah. And I'm a huge believer in everything happens for a reason. Yeah. yeah. 
So I, I go to that uh, Scala UJ, I do a year. Uh, I did two years at UJ and then I dropped out. So I was like, oh, this is definitely not, not me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's definitely not me. I don't feel this thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but I, I say, I went to UJ not to learn anything. I just went to UJ to, to find my partner, which is my yeah, my girl. Yeah, you. Uh, we met in 2014. Uh, this weekend actually is our 10 year anniversary. Damn, so we met at, yeah, we met at Yo, UJ. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, yes. I love that, dog. That's amazing. We're doing 10 years. So I met her there, and I always tell her that's the only reason why you went to I UJ. went to UJ, probably, yeah. Really? At the end of the day, that's probably why I only went to UJ. And yeah, I did two years at UJ. I even did the second year because I was just trying to make the relationship stronger because I was like, hey, uh, if I leave, I was ready to leave after first year, but I was like, really? if I leave now, it's there's vouchers here, yeah, you know. I'm going to take my <laughs> So I was like, let me do a second year just to strengthen the relationship. Okay. And we did, I did two years. After two years, I told my old lady, I was like, this is not working out. Accounting is, I would never be an accountant. So yeah. let me leave. She's like, okay, but don't leave school. Following year, she's like, go to ATV, Academy of Television. Because mm. it seems like you like yes, making yes, videos. Yes, yeah. Yes. I did a year at ATV and it was cool, but... I don't know if I felt good things were moving too slow mm, mm, or mm. I'm not getting enough of what I need. Yeah. It was cool. It was something I'm interested in. Uh, they're teaching us editing. They're teaching us scripting and filming and stuff like that. But yeah. I don't know. It's not... It's not connecting. Yeah, the Scala thing is not connecting with me. So I also left that. And it was... Thinking about it now, it was scary because I don't have a plan B. Yeah. There is no plan There's no plan B. Um, it's not like I'm leaving school to go get a job. Yeah. I'm leaving school to go pick up a tablet again or a phone to shoot skits. That's the only reason. While uh, you're at school, are yeah. you still shooting yes. skits? Yeah, I'm, I'm still doing skits. So uh, are your skits getting better and better 100%. And more focused? 100%. I think uh, there's a little bit of editing they also teach us in school. Mm. So mm. Uh, that, may, that helps me chase quality. Okay. With, okay, sharp. This is how you edit. This is how you cut and stuff like that. And yeah, yeah, yeah. so, also that was not for nothing. Yes. Also, yes. again, everything happens everything for a reason. Adds up. Yeah, everything adds up at everything the end of the day. Adds up, yeah. So, pretty much, yeah, I, I left that school again and just went back to the shooting, to the skits okay. and stuff like that. Yeah. What is your mom saying at this time? Now, after um, you leave the ATV. Yes. Like, yes. How is she reacting to this? What's your plan? Uh, hopefully, you guys named this episode "Everything Happens for a Reason" because <laughs> she doesn't have the financial backings to make Dude, me go back to school. Because even that first year at ATV, I was lucky to get a bursary, bursary yeah. but they were like, "It's yearly bursaries, so you're gonna have to apply yeah, every year." Yeah. So at the end of the year, I'm like, "Hey, yo, what if I don't get another? Yeah, then you're gonna be stuck with debt." I so you. when I told her I'm leaving this ATV school, she's like. She can't fight me because she doesn't have the funds. Okay. So it's your life. Yeah, do it is your life. do what you what you, what you can. So, uh, but she could. I think she could see also the hunger that I had and the consi consistency that I had with these videos, man. I kept picking up the phone, okay. kept shooting and posting on Instagram. posting on Instagram. And if there's nani and nani that showed like light at the end of the tunnel that looked like this whole thing could be promising. Obviously, the following is growing. Growing, yes. Yes, the following is growing. Something that she won't, she won't necessarily understand. Yeah. And you're live on Dead Radio. And you're live on Dead Radio. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, that doesn't, yeah. Or lady doesn't know no, anything what's, about what's following. Oh, yeah, no, no. But I think what uh, those lights to her were getting called randomly to a, an SAPC One show. Mm. Where they're like, mm. why is my child getting called to an SAPC One show? Uh, but I'd get called on there. I remember I did a, a show with MTV, some show called MTV Dubs. Okay. Uh, and I told her, I go to MTV, called me. She's like, okay, it seems like there's something, there's something going on. Yeah, something even though I don't understand. Yeah, okay. but at, at the same time, she wasn't complaining much because as much as I'm doing skits, on the side, I, uh, I hustled enough money, I think, to buy a camera. Okay. So what am I doing at that time? Also, I'm shooting the trick dancers. Uh -huh. 
So that's your side. That's, side, so that's yeah. how you're getting the money. money. Yes, yes. Yeah. I'm shooting matric dancers. Uh, my lady, I think around that time, now she loses a span because she's a teacher. But I'm able to support the, the fam mm. through shooting matric dancers. Uh, I remember uh, being an outie from Ekasi, not really that privileged or anything like that, but seeing kids pull up in Mercs and Bentleys yeah. to go to school. Yeah. I remember I didn't even go to my matric dance Metric because dance, yeah. Maori couldn't, couldn't buy me the suit. So, you know, I'm going to take a couple of hey, why am I meeting them? Ah, that's played out, man. Yeah, you yeah, niggas still going to yeah, trick dancing? Yeah, yeah, that yeah, time, yeah, dog, yeah. I'm like, oh, I wish I could I go. Wish. Yeah, I wish I could go, yeah. I but I remember Oli couldn't buy me the suit. Uh, she couldn't even rent the suit. And even if she could rent the suit, so in Zanja, and so the first floor, Bracken is very far. My high school is very far. And so the first floor, it takes. Oh, you and, can't. Because uh, kids are pulling up with yeah, you can't. rented cars. So even if I could get the suit, how were you? Gonna uh, I was like, was I gonna pull up there, short left, and go to Gwesha, you know, you know. <laughs> so it was a lot of things, but I, I, I understood. So at the, at the same time, on the side, I'm shooting people's metric dances. I'm shooting people's birthdays. Uh, you know, uh, that's my side hustle: getting money, being able to, you know, money in a little yeah. sense, support the fam, and also, you know, keep the dream alive. Keep the dream, the, yeah. the dream alive. Saying, yeah. okay, I'm also learning how to become a better photographer at that time. So yeah, everything happens. Job. Everything is happening for a reason at the time. I won't lie. I tell a lot of people that the practical knowledge of something is way more valuable than if you had stayed at ATU. Exactly. You get exactly. What I mean, right? Exactly. Yes. Because you gained way more experience than the kids who stayed there yes. for years. Yes. Yes. Like, okay. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. So now the skits. One thing actually I want to zone into mm -hmm. is like skits, right? Sure. Sure. What is the formula of writing a skit? Do you freestyle it? Do you and your best friend sit there and be like, yo, I think this would be funny? Mm -hmm. Or do you sit there and you're like, okay, this is what I want to happen in the skit? I, the latter, definitely. I, okay. I remember I've never actually written a skit before. Okay. I would always just ask my best friend, Dali, to come through. And I'd be like, okay, so now you're going to shoot this. And then you're gonna stop there. Now you're gonna shoot this, and then you're gonna stop there. Now you're gonna shoot this, and then you're gonna okay. stop. There. And then I put it together, and then it makes sense to them later. Like, ah. Oh, that's why you were doing this. I think the only time I ever started writing skits is only like brand stuff now. Yes, yes, yes. Where they wanna see what you. Because they idea. wanna know. Yeah, what you, what yeah, we'll give you the bag, but <laughs> you can't just freestyle. This exactly, thing, okay. exactly. So usually, and I still do some of that till this day because. I still shoot, uh, whether it be with my partner or with yeah. my best friend. I'm like, okay, guys, this, this is what we're going to do. Don't worry. It's going to make sense at the end of the video. Okay. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. it was, way. Yeah, it was, I would think about them during the day or mm. for a couple of days, mm. and mm. they would form in my head. Okay. But pretty much, I don't remember sitting down and actually, and actually penning them. It. Yes, you know. Yeah, because, like... Comedy is like actually more difficult than people actually realize. 100%, like yes. even just putting together something that's funny. Yes. It's yes. actually way more difficult. 100%. People are funnier like just off the rip. Yes. Yes. Now putting thought into like the comedy, it's actually like a different a crazy thing. skill. It's a different thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So now all of this is happening. You mm -hmm. have your side hustle. Yeah. You're still putting up content online. Sure. What's the next phase for you? I think the next phase now is uh, social media is growing in South Africa. Yes. Yes. At that time, I so remember. So this is what 2015. 2015, yes, okay. 2015, going into 2016. Okay. I remember the first time somebody said, "We're gonna pay you for a, a skit." Yeah. Yo, I think yeah, I think they they were like, "We'll pay you like three point something," and I was shocked really, for one video. He's You've like, yeah. never made money from no. the skit. No, I was just till that point. till that point, yeah. Okay. And this guy's like, you know what? Uh, we're gonna do a skit. And we're gonna pay you like 3.5 and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, I was like happy. I was like, damn. That is the birth of influencer okay. marketing at that time. Yeah, at that time. 2014, 2015, that's the birth. No one is really doing it at that time. And they were like, you know what, promote, uh, I think it was a DSTV campaign like that. So Pro DSTV hit you up? The agency hit oh, me up. Oh, the yeah. agency. Yeah, okay, they okay, hit okay, me up. Cool. They're like, okay. And you know, people that work in the agencies are obviously people that follow you on the timelines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People, 
who are around your that age way. or older than you who, who yeah, are tapped into yeah. so they know the kids so they're like do a, a skit uh, for DSTV and stuff like that and the craziest thing like the line that happens there yeah. you will never believe because when once I do that skit they tell me that skit is nominated for a Lurie and I'm like that, 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 that the, the craziest thing would see that line that connection was so weird because now I'm going to Durban for the Lurie Awards and that didn't happen immediately. It wasn't the first skit, yeah, it was the yeah. but it's the same agency, same campaign, uh, I think a year or two later. And I'm going to Durban off of a skit that I shot uh, with my friends. And I'm like, damn, okay. This, that was one of the moments where I was like, yeah. this could be something. And I, I okay. had no idea where social media marketing was going, was going yeah. where now people are driving Range Rovers off of, off of just social of skits and stuff like that. Bro, yeah. yeah. So I had no idea, but at that point for me, that was the point where I was like, okay, maybe this thing is going to be big one day. Yeah. Damn. Um, You're actually one of the forefathers <laughs> of online skits in the South African yeah, context. Bro. Back then, it was just probably me... La Cisa was doing some things. Yeah. Uh, I remember people slowly coming into it, like about Fash, yeah. about Dafaya, yeah, people, Dafaya yeah, yeah. people slowly coming into it. But yeah, I wasn't looking at anyone in South Africa. So you had no point of reference? No, no, no. no. My only point of reference actually is uh, big time people. Yes, so uh, yes, yes. Desmond Dube, ah. uh, Pio Monati, those like a skits. But okay. now, call, now, I wasn't really binging that i was binging snl uh -huh. saturday night yes, live yes uh the chappelle show the chappelle show yeah, yes and yeah. uh and vine of course i get you starting from the americans and stuff like that and i was yeah. like you know what L let me do this thing but let me make it south african uh okay. let me, let's let's make it you know now and happening okay. so yeah that was the, the the drive back then pretty much so now after you get your first like actual check off of this thing sure you go to the lorries yeah whether you won or not mm. is irrelevant, it's irrelevant right yeah, yeah, because yeah. i shot it on my phone and lorries, exactly bro. yeah how does that now start changing your perspective on like the landscape of what you do what other people are doing like this online thing because yes. now it's a real thing it, it is now it's a real thing i think at that point still i'm still looking to be discovered to okay. be on TV. I still want to be so on TV. So still TV Yeah, is still in my thing. head, it's TV, TV. Uh, you know, as a kid growing up watching so much TV, that's all that's the, the dream. in my head. Yeah, that's, that's a dream. dream. Which, okay, bro. now me, can I be casted in Mzines and Zs or Stockfell, mm. in, you know, a sitcom, stuff mm. like that, you know? Mm. Uh, that's still the dream. So I was still shooting, hoping to be discovered, discovered by someone. someone. Let's yeah. do some work. Let's yeah. shoot. And... Yeah, pretty much that's the, the thinking. That's the thing. But I think um, the, the, as the years uh, went by mm. and I was surrounded by more, people are popping up, people are making more money. Mm. It started to change and shift me, mm. uh, but I never really got rid of the TV, TV the thing. The TV dream yeah. is always it's still in the there. back of my head. Yeah. But I, I understand that people don't even need to, to do, use yeah. that. Yeah, people are that. getting hundreds and thousands of views from online content they're becoming mm -hmm. recognizable stars people are getting stopped at the malls like hey i watch your tiktoks hey i watch your mm -hmm. youtube vlogs uh just from tv and yeah. i only knew that thing from uh tv stars true about, true. Hey, oh, true. So true i love your true. role in generations true. yeah true. but now true. it's hey man i love your tiktok dances yeah. so it's it's ever changing man it's it's so crazy what internet has has become it's completely changed mm -hmm. everything yes. and i feel like it's actually like put things on a level playing field yes because now the kids the reason a lot of people were able to abuse their power through like the tv or like entertainment lens was because that was the only way 100 percent. you needed now someone to put you through oh no now, mm -hmm. now the people can actually put you on. exactly you exactly exactly okay mm -hmm. um what happens next in your story now oh man um i think i learned how to communicate his brand okay yeah over the years i learned how to communicate his brand 
I know what brands want, so the campaigns start definitely rolling in. And so are they reaching out to you yes. or are you reaching out to them? It's the craziest thing. Cause I've never in my life pitched an idea or pitched a campaign. That's I've never pitched a campaign in my life. So fly. Everything I've ever done online, it comes, it comes to, to me. It's people saying, okay, we need you to shoot this in your style. Okay. I don't, I've never pitched, cause you know, Younger people, you'd, you'd come to me and say, how do you get brands into mm. media? Mm. Hey, man, I've never pitched in, pitched in my life. It's, uh, brands would always come to, to me you. and because your work speaks for itself. Yeah. Like, that's your own portfolio. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's when I learned how to communicate a brand message. Okay. And I, le I learned how to be basically become a brand. Mm. Yes, yes. I, a brand, know, brand that represents brands. Other brands, yeah. Yes. And yes. I know how to speak to people around my age or around okay. my circumstance uh, and make it relatable, basically. Okay. And yeah, at this point, yeah, uh, campaigns start rolling in sharp. Uh, What's your first big check from a brand where you're like, okay, wait, actually, I'm doing this thing mm. and this money just changed my life. It could be like 20,000, it mm. could be like 40,000. But what was that first check where you're like, yo, the zeros are going crazy? I, I don't remember the first one where, I'm sure because there was uh, a long time ago, but yeah. I remember one of the checks where I was like, okay, it, it was able to do something for me, where I was able to buy a second-hand car, mm. Mm. like some Suzuki Swift that yeah. was yeah, many years old, and then a better camera. Yeah, I think I did a commercial for for a car brand, Toyota, I think. Okay. Yeah. And from that on I was able to buy a, a camera, like a Sony, mm. and then I was able to buy like I was able to leave on my decks yeah. behind. Yeah, you were yeah, just yeah, like, yeah, yo, was, yeah, was, now I'm done. Exactly. I was able to leave on my decks behind okay. and yeah, I, I remember it was a, a friend of a neighbor's of, of a neighbor yeah. who had a car that has been chilling. You're even just yellowing. Like, yo, yeah. Let me get that. Let me get that. Yeah. It's not yeah. anything amazing, but it was able to carry me for two or three years okay. and that's when I was like okay shop I can actually plan towards changing my life okay. with something like this pretty much so when that money starts coming in right yeah. is that when your love for like sneakers and fashion starts like building or has that always been a thing but you just didn't have the coin yeah yeah uh, I think uh, a lot of uh, guys can guys and girls can uh, relate to this of just going to your sports scene and yeah. uh, total sports and just looking at shoes. Yeah. But back then, I think in my teens, my mom always laughs at my collection because she's like, she remembers when I had one pair of shoe. I get you. Because she, she says it was, it's funny because it was painful back then because that's all we, we could, we could get. We could get yeah. yeah. And I remember I used to go to Jersey and there was this place that used to sell discounted vans. Ah, uh, yeah, and that's pretty you. much all I, I could you. wear. Chucks and vans, they were like 500 rands, 600 rands. Mm. So I had maybe like two or three chucks, two or three vans. Mm. And that was my, pretty much my collection. That was the rotation. Exactly. Yeah, but then the you'd rotation. still be on Tumblr downloading Jordan pictures. Mm. You know, still be on Tumblr downloading uh, Adidas that you wish you could have. So yeah, only recently where I was able to afford a shoe and carpet. And I think it's a thing of just healing that childhood yeah the childhood thing. yeah, yeah the right, young yeah. george yeah, who wanted to get things yes. and he couldn't you couldn't get it and i was you know going to the night factory in woodmead and just looking at yeah. shoes and yeah. be like okay oh man this is so dope yeah. even though this is on sale it's yeah. still a lot of money but uh yeah man it only started the collection recently but okay. Okay. i've been man wishing i could yeah. get yeah, uh, these things it's a process. See. It is it's all a process. Like, and I really want, like, especially that, like, the young people out there. Yes, we're living in a time where everything is like on your phone, and you're seeing this person wearing that. Mm -hmm. It's all a, a process. process. Yes. And we don't know how people get, get these those things. things. So that's the thing. They need to be he hella careful. I I have a lot of nieces and nephews. And I always tell them, like, just to be careful of what they see. Yeah. Uh, because I see no knock to the, the kids right now, but because uh, Nami, I was there in that place. I remember back in Masters of Rhythm era, uh, Cramping era, yeah. uh, all those things. We couldn't afford Ivizu jeans oh, and New yeah. Era caps yeah. and Supras, but we had them. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. There's places in Jersey that nah, would you know, sell. Yeah, you know. You know, you know how it goes. So it's the same thing now with kids yeah. wearing Jordan 4 black cats. True. I tell my nephews and nieces, I'm like, you guys don't know that shoe is like actually 12,000 rand. Literally. So the fact that this kid is wearing it right now on your yeah. Instagram or your TikTok dancing, yeah. that I can guarantee you that's not a real shoe. True. But True. I'm not judging because yeah. that's not we were wearing Supras. And Supras are 3,000 rand. Goes. That's how it goes. So just trust the process. Yeah. Yeah, you'll get I, there. You'll get there, you'll get and there. I do believe in fake it till you make it sometimes because yes. as long as you're good, as, as long as you feel good, confident mm. in yourself, mm. this shoe makes you feel good yeah. about yourself, yeah. makes you feel confident about, about yourself, then it's, it's cool. You're not, yeah. you're not yeah. really, uh, you know, but the kids now shouldn't look at those other kids and say, damn, I, I wish can't. I had that. Yes. yes, That kid can afford a 10 My life is shoe. less valuable no. because no. that's no. true. Yeah. I want to zoom in on something you mentioned, right? You mm -hmm. mentioned that every time you got to a new level, you would reinvest and get a new camera. Sharp. Right? Yes. Where does that come from? Because a lot of people, right, would be like, ah, I've been shooting this with my phone, it works. Yes. I don't need to reinvest in the craft and the business. Yeah, 100%. What gave you, like, that mind state, horror? Hey, Doug. I need to keep upping yes. the equipment, yes. the skill, the level. Where does that come from? So I think for me, uh, when it comes to equipment and gear and stuff like that, I was just obsessed with quality. Okay. You know, uh, I was very obsessed with quality. I needed the picture to be better. I needed mm. the lights to be, be uh, better. I needed the sound to come through clearer because I'm trying to emulate SNL. Remember, I'm not emulating I get you. what I'm That's seeing here. on TikTok. Or That's like, what I'm, you're looking at. I, went, I saw Botina Fey mm. doing mm. movie level skits and I'm like, I want to shoot my stuff to be very clean. So I'm obsessed with uh, getting better with quality and stuff like that. But also, I'm obsessed with tech at the same time. So okay. I always want to upgrade my tech. Another, I remember, now you remind me to have many side hustles. Another yeah. side hustle that I had uh, as a kid, I would... Uh, Fix people's computers. Ah, dope. Uh, get Windows, format people's uh, okay. hard drives, reinstall, reinstall them, I and stuff like that, and get software online. Yo, and that's a big business in the hood. Yes. That's a very yes. big business. Exactly. In the hood. Install my antivirus for Ubuntu, yeah. Yeah. you know, uh, show people how to use their computers and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So mm -hmm. I remember I used to do that. So I was, I was obsessed with tech mm. that made me want better computers, better okay. cameras. Uh, yeah, man. I'd, for a while, before I, uh, I started doing this reckless sneaker thing, I was <laughs> spending a lot of money on, 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 on gear tech. Yeah, and tech and lights and stuff like that. Damn. Mm. Yeah, mm. actually, now when I think about it, you can actually see the gradual... Like getting better exactly. of the angles, yes. the content, your content. Exactly. Like, Dope. Exactly. Yeah, because yeah, a lot of like kids who make content, they're like, bro, my phone works. Phone is like, fine. It's fine, yeah. I which, don't need to get a light. Exactly. I, which is, I think that's the status quo right now, which mm. is, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, because it, it's so funny because if you, it seems like if you upload a video that's too good on TikTok, yeah. people maybe might just minus it because that's they think true. it's branded. That's true. So that is the vibe right now that's going on. So mm. they, they're getting away with it because it's, it's the status it's, quo, it's, it's fine. It's, it's the time. Yeah, it's, it's the time, so it's cool. That. And I, I mean, as much as I loved upgrading my equipment, one of the biggest advices I give uh, people, Wuti, start with what you have. Yeah. Because if my old lady got me that tablet and it didn't work with Vine, and I was like, let me wait two more years yeah. for another yeah. thing, I wouldn't yeah. have started. That's true. I wouldn't have started. That's so true. start with what you have. Yeah. I was out there shooting skits in first law. I remember I saw... On sets, good people would have booms, mm, right? Mm, uh, mm, sticks mm, with audio mm, and stuff like that. Mm, mm. So what I would do, take my phone, take a broomstick, cello tape the, the phone to the end of the broomstick and ask a friend to hold it out like that. That's a boom for us. And then I'd sync the audio later. Uh, so we didn't have lapels back then. So yeah, 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 make yeah. do with what you have what right you now. Have. Yeah, we all have a yellow. We have all have a broom. Mm. And these phones these days record great yeah, audio quality. Yeah, so yeah. if you're in a windy area or something like that, that's your boom. Yeah, that. that's your. If you wanna put a dead dead mouse or dead cat on it, that's your sock. Yeah. So that yeah. the wind the wind yeah, doesn't, doesn't. We were there. We were there. It. Only shoot making sure that we're shooting videos in the afternoon where there's sunlight coming through the window because yeah. we don't have light. Yeah. It's making do with what you have right now. So if. Right now, now where you're waiting for a better camera, waiting for a better phone before you start your TikToks, oh man. It'll never come. 
check the yeah. most some of the most viral videos right now true. they look like they are 360p yeah. or 720p <laughs> that's true they are going that's viral true. yeah so millions shoot with what you have right now when does the moment when sabc calls you mm -hmm. to host your own show oh when does that moment happen I'm trying to think now, Wuti, the journey of traditional for me was mm. so weird. Uh, I've done such random things. Like, yeah. uh, one of the most random things that people might not know about me, uh, they called me up to, to do, they were like, do you want to come script write for Fat Joe? Uh, the, the Fat Joe? They're like, yeah, do you want to come be a script writer for Fat Joe for Highly Inappropriate with Fat Joe and Moja Love? And I'm like, oh, I've never script written in my life before, but... Mm. This is an opportunity. I'm gonna take yeah, it. Yeah, I'm gonna take it. Yeah. Hundred. The show didn't last too long. I think we did like a season, but uh, I learned so much, met so many people there, and I, I, I definitely did. Next thing I know, um, next thing I know, they hit me up. They're like, "Do you wanna come?" Oh yeah, I audition. Uh, yeah. for every, come coming back to everything happens for a reason. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, MTV tweets, Guti, if you wanna be a presenter of uh, not a presenter, a prankster on You Got Got, the prank, uh, yes, the prank yes, show. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Toles Moe's. Toles Moe's yes, thing, yes, yes, yeah. Yes, I remember. Upload that. a video of yourself doing a prank or something like that. That makes us laugh and yeah. Uh, luckily enough, I do the, the skit, the video. Uh, they hit me up at MTV. Come through an audition in Brav. You, you'll be uh, pranking people live. We want to see how you do it. Yeah. Now remember, I told you I'm the, I'm the shyest guy in the world. Yeah, yeah. So I bomb. I do horribly. I do terribly. I can't speak to people. I hate speaking to new people. I'm blabbering. I can't I really... You. So I, I obviously don't make it. Yeah, I don't it get doesn't it sharp. translate. It doesn't translate. Camera, yeah, yeah. Uh, I do better when I'm alone on camera. It's okay. fine. Sharp. I didn't get it. A uh, couple of weeks go by. They call me, which is very weird. Again, they call me. Hey, um, do you want to come and direct the show? Oh man, that's so crazy. Direct the come do show. I've, again. I've never directed a show in my life. Do you want to come shoot and direct the show? Cool. I do the directing shoot. We're traveling across the country now, and I'm realizing, to, wait a minute, I didn't get to be a presenter, but I'm actually behind the scenes. I'm directing this show. This is so crazy. Again, everything happens, happens for, for a reason. reason. Yeah. And if I could just tell you, I don't have too many stories. Mm. If I could just tell you why I stopped doing that job. Yeah. Because again, the TV thing is in the back of my head. I'm, pre I'm, I'm preempting with that, yeah. The TV thing is in the back of my head. But you're getting closer. I'm getting, getting closer. closer. Man, my yeah. journey has always been gangane gangane. I've yeah. never been an overnight success. Yeah. It's always yeah. been gangane gangane. So I remember I'm, I'm directing You Got God. It's great. The lady who hired me, who owns the production company, is amazing, amazing boss. She loves my work. We're doing well. Uh, I get a call to come cameo on The Queen. Um, this telenovela on yeah, 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 yeah on yeah, yeah. Zanzi Magic. Zanzi Magic. Uh, I do that. I smash that. It's great. Uh, they love my performance. Uh, they call me up. I think a month later, they're like, "There's a new telenovela. It's called The Throne. Mm -hmm. Come and act and become a boyfriend or something like that to the main character." I'm like, "Oh, finally! Here's my TV break. I'm gonna be." A, you know, I'm going to be Capella now. Yeah. I'm in there. Yeah. I'm going to be... Capella, I'm here Sam now. Jason. Yeah. I'm there, dog. Yeah. I'm... Yeah. Jack oh, Mabasso. Jack Mabasso. Yeah, By the end of the career, I'm going to have the club, <laughs> dog. Jack Mabasso. Ah, I'm finally getting on telenovelas, dog. Mm. I go, we shoot episode one. We shoot episode two. I'm in there. I'm talking. I'm acting, you know. There's serious actors around me. Yeah. Like vets. Yeah. People yeah. who went to school for acting. Yeah. I was just shooting skits at Fosperas. But I'm doing <laughs> my best, yeah, dog, yeah. yeah. But before I get to do that, dog, they tell me, hey, yo, dog, uh, do you know, uh, Woody, this thing is very hectic. It's a hectic schedule. We shoot almost every day. So you're going to need to come almost every day. I tell the lady, I'm like, oh, man, how am I going to tell? I'm going to basically have to come Choose out of my contract. I get that. Oh, man, how am I going to? This lady, like I said, she loves me. She, yeah, yeah, she gave yeah. me a chance. Uh, I, always, I always regret that time, man, yeah. because... You know why I regret it? Because we shoot episode one, shoot episode two, episode three, I think. A couple of days pass by, no calls, mm -hmm. but they're still shooting. Mm -hmm. Two weeks pass by, no calls, but they're still shooting. Maybe a month later, I realized the character's gone. Yeah, it's gone. It's but gone. now I, lo I left You Got God. 
I came out of the contract. I went to the lady. Went to so on office. both sides now. Yeah, nice. I went to the office and I said, hey, I'm going to need to leave the leave contract. Here. Yeah, I She has no backup plan, but she, I think she gets it. She has it's like, Yo, you've always do, wanted TV. Yeah. yeah, you know what? Yeah. That's how nice she was, though. She's like, you know what? Shout out to her, yeah. bro. Go She's do the amazing. thing. I get it. Sharp. It's fine. But now, two months later, I have none. So now I'm sure you're feeling like, bro, I just messed how up. Did I, mess I just messed up. up. I I could have sat in my room sulking, like thinking about I could have been upstairs mm, at MTV mm. now. I could have been could've, I could've, yeah. But you know what? Let's just go back to what you know doing best. The skits. Mm, the skits. Let's go shoot the skits. Let's go shoot make more content. Yeah. Let's go just keep being creative. Yeah. Something will come along yeah. around the way. So yeah. And then that's how that other show comes in. Exactly. Like, I'm now... Uh, if I can run through the, the traditional things I've done, mm. uh, I did in Kokele, yeah. which is a show. Imagine cheaters, but for yes. people who owe you money. Yes. Yeah, yes. so we were... So, and that's very... Not so you like guys are running up on oh, people. Dog. And that, again, my personality type doesn't need that. Yeah. I'm like, very shy, so I can't... Now I'm approaching 45 year olds like Baba say, I understand that it's so story. <laughs> but um, mama, okay, <laughs> immediately. It's the immediately. So, ah, uh, there I'm oh. acting, dog, because I would never do such a thing. I, I would never confront in anyone life. in real life, dog. So yeah. I'm just like, you know what? Let me just switch out of this George yeah. or Sabi perso- persona yeah. who I am and just be someone for I TV. So we're literally going to Tembisa, running through Iganga. <laughs> Chasing my pastors who say they would build a church and yeah. they didn't build a church. So where's the money right now? We needed money. Okay. So oh man, it's it's been a journey of things, of me just diving in yeah. to things that I never thought I would do. But even radio yeah. right now, yeah, I'm even doing like the radio, radio thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, when they hit me up for radio, you're like, have you ever thought of doing radio? And I was like, obviously, maybe if I got famous enough. Yeah. In my 30s or in my 40s, yeah. hopefully they'd call me to yeah. come do a radio show. But it was never but like, it's, yeah, like I, I, TV was the thing. TV was the thing and I've never done any formal education for radio and stuff like that. So when they called me and they said come audition, I was like, let's jump in again. Let's, let's, let's try the waters again and let's see what happens. Where does that bravery come from? Because a lot of people, right? Mm master something and they're like yo i'm gonna keep it right right here here i'm yeah. not gonna go and venture mm. i'm not gonna try new things where does that thing come from because you have a you have to be a very special type of person mm. to be like yo i'm i'm going in bro. yeah whether i fail or not i think on my side it's not bravery i don't think i'm the bravest man mm. in club i think it's not bravery on my side i think it's fear actually mm. it's fear of ending up like the brothers that I see in the in my hood, mm. the brothers. Uh, they uh, fears your mom. Yeah, yeah. I can see. I, I, I'm always in the hood visiting my mom, obviously. And the people that some of them, the people that I grew up with, and I see what's going on right now, and um, things like Inyaup is yeah. tearing Yo, through the hood. It's destroying uh, the community, yeah, bro. Uh, it's tearing through the hood. So I see the kids now who. Even younger kids who were children, like who were babies when we were kids, mm. uh, they would greet us and ask for my sweetie. Mm. I see those kids smoking cigarettes and oh, yeah. gradually yeah. climbing yeah. that thing and just chilling in the corner, the corner by the corner by the spaza the whole day. And I'm like, that fear of ending up there, it pushed me to be like, you know what? I want a choice. Mm. You have to. Mm. Go hard. Go harder. You have yeah. to. What's next? You know. And I'm very uncomfortable with doing the same thing over and over again. You know. Mm. I am very uncomfortable with uh, being comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Where yeah. I'm like, you know what? Yeah. Ah, people love my skits. Yeah. Let me continue doing skits. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Uh, people will always, even till this day, ask me, when am I bringing back the skits?" Mm. I tried doing music as a joke. It was yeah. not. I was never being serious. Yes, yeah, like but, parody. Yeah, parody. Yeah. yeah. But people are always ask me, "Guti, when are you gonna do more music?" You know, it's mm-hmm. like uh, Hove says, "Guti, niggas want my old shit, buy my old album, buy my old." So yeah. if you want that wasabi, then I hopefully you won't delete that video. Yeah. So it's still there. Yeah. Right now, I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do What's next. What's the next thing? Because I see the people who stay in the same medium. Mm. What happens to them after four, five years, ten years? People lose interest, and in there's somebody new now yeah. that they're on. Yeah. Yeah. So I need, as soon as this place is too comfy now, 
let's see what's let's move yeah next. let's move let's move okay uh, mm. um i want to zone in on something right yeah, yeah. i'm very interested in the way people's dreams develop sure, right sure. your dream started with tv um skits mm -hmm. which then evolved to you eventually getting on tv which led to you getting on radio sure what's a new dream that you didn't have back then mm -hmm. that you have right now hmm, that's a very good question actually <laughs> um a new dream i think i want to i hated traveling i hated traveling so Why? much I don't know. I, like I said, I'm a home, big homeboy. Yeah. You. So I hated traveling so much as a kid. Uh, whether you would say, Wuti, we are going to such a nice place, I would rather be at home on the PS2 or on Cartoon Network. Yeah. So, chilling. yeah, chilling. But I think to open my mind a bit more, I yeah. think I need to leave where I am right now and yeah. just see the world, yeah. see a new perspective. So it's something I never thought I'd say in my life, but yeah. I do want to travel and. At the same time, I want to travel and use that experience I gain to tell other stories. Okay. Because the skits that I've shot back in the day and stuff, it was stories that I've experienced. Yeah. Uh, your stories, exactly. your friends' stories. Ma yeah. shot yeah. yeah. when you go to this plaza and this is wrong. When you, yeah. you know, the stories yeah. that I was telling of growing up in Foslo. Yeah. But I feel like I've told the story and so many people are telling the same stories because as black people as much as we are different we have the same experience yeah the experiences are shared they're, they're yeah. very much so so yeah. i'm hungry for new experiences okay. something that i can tell in a different way in a in a shine a brand new spot what happens when you put somebody from phosphorus in japan i hear that you know yeah, yeah. what happens the china ni hao yeah. <laughs> so you know that those are the stories that i'm trying to right. tell and learn and i think with experience comes the better storytelling mm. so that's where i'm i'm, I'm headed to right now okay. and okay. just being sure in myself man i mean i want to be sure in myself i want to be comfortable i want to um be a hood man for real yeah. is, Kids call me a hood man. I feel yeah. like I'm still that young person. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel like I need to be the hood man for real. Be comfortable, start a family, and uh, tell better stories. Better stories. Tell better story, bigger stories. Yeah. And uh, pioneer a new language that we didn't know. Whoever was around back in 2013 and 14, mm. doing those skits or mm. uploading, we didn't know we were starting something yes so i don't know what next i'm gonna start uh but you gotta go out there exactly and find, and find it. it yes okay pretty much okay yeah, yeah. um i want to switch gears mm -hmm. just for a little bit right sure. 2024 is a very important year in south africa 100%. um we're having our national elections mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um i want to find out Number one, what's your perspective on just the landscape of the country? Uh, how important is voting to you? Obviously, you don't have to share what, um, who you're yeah. going to vote for, sure. your political beliefs. Mm -hmm. It's not about that. But I think this year is so important that like, we all need to start having the conversation 100%. around voting. 100%. And uh, if you were elected, yes. <laughs> what would you like to change about the country? Yes. Especially as a creative, as an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. what do you think needs to change in the country? Oh man, it's, it's so easy to sit back and say it looks bleak mm. because... Mm. Uh, 100% it, it does sound like it's bleak, man. Yeah. Because, I don't know, man, whether it's the news, whether it's social media, it's people always telling us to brace ourselves. Yeah. Something yeah. is coming. Yeah, something it's always, is coming. Yeah. yeah. South Africans need to tighten their belts. Yeah. Something is coming. And we are such a, a happy country in the sense of... True. Even in the rain, we're still, we're still dancing. Yeah. I think yeah. that's something we're fortunate to have. Yeah. Uh, there will be brighter days. Yeah. Yeah, we're such a brighter days ca country. country yeah. So I think the government is very lucky to have such people. Citizens, yeah, yeah citizens like us. Who are like, you know, we are all fed up with That's what's going true. on. But I think we are hopeful for a brighter day. I genuinely think 
South Africa is one of the greatest countries in the world. Yeah. Uh, there's so many things you can say besides that, besides, besides mm -hmm. the, the crimes. Mm -hmm. All those things happen in other countries, but uh, I'm grateful for so many little things like freedom of speech, uh, yeah. how yeah. we move. Uh, as much as other countries are so expensive yeah. and cost of living is ridiculous yeah. right now, yeah. people are living on 300 rand. Yeah. It's really bad out yeah. there. Uh, but man, we are persevering. Like we are, we are Sia Pusha, Sia Zama, Sia Foster, yeah. which is so great about us. Yeah. Yeah. And so much needs to change. I, I won't lie and say I'm. If I was in that position, this is what I would do differently. Yeah. One thing I do wish would be, I'd like to see in my lifetime. I would love to see younger people in power. Mm. I would love to see how that perspective looks because I love that. now we are I love that. being led by people who are still going to be around in 40 years. Yeah. Who yeah. now but they need to look out for their own kids. True. In contrast to people who are 60, 80, who are doing... Um, I feel like if you put old people, especially in South Africa, old people who live through apartheid, it's... The, this is a very weird comparison. It's like your wasabi who loved shoes back in the day mm. but didn't get the chance to buy to them. Buy them yeah. But now that he has the funds, he's able to buy the shoes mm. and he's doing a little bit too much. Mm, mm, mm. So I think that's the comparison I'd bring to the, to the government. I feel that. Oguti, we didn't have the money for the shoes we back then. We struggled. But now that they're in power... Oh no, oh, we go ball. Big balling too is much. my... Hobby. So I understand in human nature why they're doing that, yeah. but I wish the difference is, Mina. I still make sure that Ekaya, my little sister, still has uniform. That good. You know, yeah. uh, my mom still has something to cook and stuff like that. Mm. The problem is that the the guys in power might not be doing that. The kids don't have school shoes. They don't have bridges to cross yeah. uh, to go to school. They yeah. are swimming. They are doing dangerous things just mm. to get to school. Mm. And there's one toilet in mm. the whole school. Mm. It's, it's such a mess, man. It's such a mess. So I would like to see, I'm not young saying, I don't, I'm not certain 100% good younger people would do be, any better job, but if younger people are in power, I think they have a, a little bit of a different perspective. And they're more accountable. Exactly. Because you're going to be here in 30 years, exactly. 40 years. 100%. I get exactly. That. So, I get that. Yeah, man, you might, you, younger people, you might complain about, you know, older people might complain about, yo, this generation is too woke, so sensitive. Mm. But people forget, Guti, as much as evolution is a thing of human beings growing five fingers instead of four or less hair and stuff like that, people forget the, the, the mental element of evolution. Guti, we are evolving uh, mentally too. As much as yeah. we evolve physically, we evolve yeah. mentally too. We are kinder to people uh, than we were in the 90s, yeah. in the True. 80s. True. We, we know Guti, there's some things that we say that might be offensive yeah. to people that we used to say freely. That, uh, that now we're like, hey man, you can't, you say, can't that. say that, you yeah. know, because we are more considerate. The consideration is evolution, Guti. Yeah. We are becoming better people. Uh, True. That's what we True. are growing. So. True. With the younger people, I think we have different perspectives and I don't really understand hearing someone who's 70, you know, control the country. You I know? get that. I don't really, I don't really get that. It doesn't make I'll, sense. doesn't make sense. That's something I'd sense. like to see, but okay. hey man, th okay. this is just wishful thinking, as yeah. you'd say. This is yeah. just wishful thinking. Yeah. Sometimes you feel yeah. powerless as a South African, but the most power you have is that that uh, voting the day. Vote. The voting day. The That's vote. If, if, oh, sorry to go to, into this, but we started with enemy. Yeah. Ugoku couldn't have defeated Majin Bu yeah. himself. Yeah. He needed the people's energy. True, true. For that, for that spirit, spirit bomb. bomb. You know? So That's think of their so vote as true. you raising your hands to the sky so that Goku can make that spirit bomb That's and defeat so Majin Bu. So, so hey, sorry guys, I think of my life Damn. through an enemy lens. Yo, shout out. <laughs> that was a beautiful, like, that was a beautiful answer. Okay, so um, yeah. How has wokeism mm -hmm. influenced the comedy that you make? Yeah. Because on a global scale, yeah. I hear my favorite comedians talk about it, although my favorite comedian, Dave Chappelle, mm. does not give does a not, flying yes, fuck yes. about it. Yeah. But it has changed 
the way you make comedy, the way you interpret jokes. Yes. How's that like influenced the way you make your comedy or your skits? I think it's like what Kat what Kat said. Guti, if you can't make people laugh without being offensive, you might not really be funny. Yeah, you know, it's yeah. I relate so much to the to the what's going on right now, mm. where people are speaking out, people are having voices because uh, it is so wild the things that we used to say and do as a people in the eighties. It's true. And, yeah, like yeah, when you look back, you're, you're like, like, damn. Yeah. Like, I was watching Rush Hour one, yes. like last week, um, and there's a scene where Jackie Chan says, uh, what up, my nigga? Yeah, and yes. I'm like, <laughs> Yo, that, that would fly right that now. Would yeah. never that would fly. never fly right yeah. now. I yeah. think it's so great that the voices are getting voices. It's so great, man. It's, uh, the thing is, the woke thing, the, the woke thing is not new at all. Yeah. Uh, let's go back to what they were doing doing to witches when in a village. True. When they'd find out who you're a witch. Oh, they're burning you. They're burning you. Yeah. The whole community yeah. comes out and yeah. and they are pitchforks and yeah. stuff and they fetch you. That's what basically war mobs are. I hear that. Because and those people are trying to protect the community. You know, I they're not that. trying to get lawyered get or something like that. So get that. it's just you know that's what it is. It's not new. It's community justice. It still happens in Asika. See if yeah. someone is. It gets found with you. Yeah, they come yeah. together and they band together yeah. and, they, and stuff yeah. like that. So, where it gets tricky is we were all doing it, but now because Times I'm in the changed. yeah I'm in the limelight, I get that. We need to make an example of you. Mm-hmm. And man, it's a double-edged sword because yeah. Vele, the an example needs to be made. Needs to be made because, made. because hey, man. There's still people who are homophobic. There's yeah. people who are True. still, you know, racist. Raci- exactly. Yeah. So we You're need right. to make that example right. of people and say, hey, You're man, right. that is wrong. Because if you were bullied as a young person, you yeah. know how that feels. Yeah. You know how how many uh, homophobic jokes were in comedies yeah. in the 2000s, in yeah. the 90s, yeah. and it was okay to make fun of such a large group of people, yeah. and you couldn't say anything about it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. When you or a kid in primary school who may be part of the LGBTQI and you don't feel safe yeah. because if you reveal your identity, mm. these kids are going to be so mean to you. Danger, and stuff like that. Yeah. So we need Vela to teach the kids. Yeah, to, that. You can't say this. This is how people exist. This is you know, about spectrums and stuff like that because it's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Your insecurities start here at a yeah. young age because Nami, I was that kid who was crying because... Uh, people were making notes about my weight and stuff like that. Yeah, so I know very right. much how it feels to be very out- outcasted and stuff like that. So yeah. it's a double-edged sword because you might not know when it's going to st- strike you, but it's a very much necessary thing that we do I need. Hear that. And it's what evolution. People yeah, are just evolving. We're just evolving. We're just evolving, man. Getting yeah. better, smarter, understanding exactly. how to treat each other. Because I'm gonna make a, an example for you right now, where um, you can't say certain words, yeah. and those certain words are were popular uh, back in the day. Yeah. You could say them to your friends, yeah. talk about. Yeah, I was making uh, an example to my friend. I'm, I'm not saying this is gonna happen, but uh, the word crazy or insane mm. is what do they call it ableist yes and because of the ableist community right now it's just a it's still maybe small or unheard in 10 years they yeah. might search your your handle yep. and f- search the name the word yep. crazy and say you used to be ableist yep, yep. you need, you, yeah you used to I be ableist and uh, uh, because that's the same thing that happens with the word uh, gay and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, they say, hey, you yeah. used to be homophobic. Yeah. Whereas in that time, 2006, yeah. that was an insult. Yeah. It was, Literally, everyone was saying everyone it. Everyone was saying it and stuff yeah. like that. So that's the tricky part now. We'll say, hey, man, you don't know, because of how we are evolving as people, you don't yeah. know what you're doing right now. Yeah. That's bad. But if you are aware of it now, because now I just recently got told, hey, man, you should try not to say that word because mm. it makes people feel uncomfortable. So yeah. I'm... I'm trying to remove it from my vocab and not say such words, but hey man, society keeps changing. One thing I do want to zone in on Mm. about this topic is that wokeism comes from a positive place. Yes. Right? 100%. The only negative that I see, Mm -hmm. right, Mm -hmm. is the cancel culture. Mm -hmm. Because what cancel culture actually does is it removes the redemption arc. Oh. And the redemption arc is like 
one of the most important things for us as humans, bro. Because mm-hmm. we're all just evolving. Yeah, I might have said a word that was bad, mm. but give me a chance to evolve. To evolve. Mm. You get me. I, I That's get you. My I get you. Only thing 100%. About it. 100%. It's Don't just, remove it. The thing is, uh, the problem is the pain these people I get it. were feeling. I, like for I many get it. years, as teenagers, as kids, they felt so different. Mm. Imagine if you got the chance now to finally like I get fight that. back you yeah, know yeah. it's it, that's where i understand them what you finally you get to now make you, that person feel, feel the what way you, you were feeling yeah so that's it what makes sense uh, because it canceling sense. and uh canceling people is not a new thing again yeah. people were exiled yeah, 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 back in yeah, the day yeah, you know yeah, if you are yeah, rich leave yeah, our community yeah, yeah you know yeah, uh yeah. when white people were, were in power now we tell you were being exiled yeah. that's being the, the way yeah. can, canceled true, true, the, true, the, that's canceling still so, yeah true, so true. As much as the apartheid one is wrong, this one has some. It comes from a place of pain. Yeah, yeah. So I, I, I kind of get it. It's painful to the person who it's done to, and in a perfect world, with how many, we teach the people. Well, hey man, you're not allowed to say that word, or a person be given the chance to say, guys, I'm so sorry, Mm. I was 14. I was wild. Oh yeah, my friends. I didn't know better. My friends and I, it was part of our vocab. Yeah. (laughs) It's. It's such a it's tricky. Story. It's tricky. I just love that we can have the conversation yes, yes. and evolve. Yes, yes. True. Okay. True. Yeah. Um, as we close it up, mm-hmm. I want you to look into the camera and leave. What's your last piece of advice to a kid out there who's just like you, maybe in Foslo Ross yeah. or wherever they are yeah. in the country, who is creative, is funny wants to get out there, make content, but doesn't know how to move, doesn't have friends who can support them. What's your last message to a kid out there just to give them that last push to go out there and make something happen for themselves? I I think my most important uh, information is, like I said, would you do the most with the little you have? Mm. That's Mm. so important. Mm. You need to do the most with the little you have because you're only going to get better. You're learning. You're not wasting your time. Yeah. You're learning because it's making an example again. It's great Ugo driver to learn how to drive mm. in Mercedes mm. your first time. It's amazing. Mm. It's smooth power steering, mm. uh, automatic maybe. Yeah. But Ugo driving a score or will teach you so much. Uk change the clutch. Yeah. Yeah. There's no power steering. Yeah. Yeah. The day you do get a Mercedes or a yeah. BMW, you'll be cruising. Yeah, you'll be gliding. You'll, yeah. You know how to handle any situation. Yeah. So you yeah. have an, an Android, as the kids uh, like to yeah. say now. You have yeah. an Android. It's not as good as an iPhone quality. Mm. Shoot. Because yeah. this, uh, even though maybe the quality is not great, the quality of the story could be amazing. Yeah. You could have better quality of a story than True. anyone in Charlie. True. True. And as much as... Yo, there's so many TikTokers. Yo, there's so many YouTubers. There's mm. so many sneaker reviewers. Mm. But no one can tell the story the way like you tell you. it. No one can do... There's so many podcasters, but no one can interview or ask people questions the way you do. So, mm. because no one... Mm. The same way, no one has the same vocab that you have. Mm. So, mm. do it because you're different. Do it because as much as we are the same as Awantaba Miyam or the same as the human beings... Mm. We are totally different because of how we grew up. Because yeah. yeah. even umdo, one person can raise two children, but they can end up being two different people. True. You know, True. I'm True. so different from my little brother, from my little, little sister, from my older brother. Yeah. And we were raised by the same, ma- same mother and father. Yeah. So do it because uh, you want to do it. And ooh, it's so tough to say this one because back then I could easily do say it because I'm saying... Do it because you're not doing it for the money. Yeah. Because back then there was no money. No yeah. one's paying you for yeah, videos. At all. Yeah, no one's paying you for, for, for videos. Yeah. Now you're doing it for yourself. Do you want to tell stories or do you just want to get Imali? Sharp, there's nothing wrong with doing it for Imali, but just remember why you're doing it. Yeah. Always remember why you're doing it. Because there's days where you're going to be lazy. You're not going to feel like keep setting up the camera, setting up the lights. But if you remember why you need to do it, why you have this passion, this fire burning inside you, that's what's going to prop up the camera it's not even used that passion is just propping up your cameras propping up the lights so and man things take time yeah. at the same time p- 
people drop one video and blow up or two videos and blow up. Yeah. yeah. But uh, one yeah. of my favorite YouTubers, Marquez, says you can make 105 videos and you blow up at 104. Yeah. Yeah. You could yeah. blow up at number six. Yeah. But yeah. you can blow up at 104. And you're about to give up. You're about to throw in the towel. Yeah. But at the same time, at video number 104, you're not the same person you were at video number sure. 10. Because now you yeah, know how build. to edit better. Yeah. You know yeah. how to chop yeah. better. So you're not wasting your time by starting today. Just remember that. You're not wasting your time by starting today. You are, your future self will thank you. Definitely. Damn, bro. Thank oh, you so much for brother. coming in, chopping it up with us. Um, please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and from your boy Ini, uh shout out for tuning in to dead radio and you're live on dead radio